in the previous two videos, we discussed a differential amplifier. Now we can summarize the performance of differential amplifier as follows. We can summarize the four bullet points. Point one, it amplifies two differential inputs or it accepts two inputs and amplify the difference. Two, its input impedance is low and its output impedance is high. The reason the input impedance is low is um, actually we discussed a differential uh, inverting amplifier input impedance. Uh, it is uh, the input part of, uh, of the circuit. I can find the previous page. That, that is the page. If we consider here, that is uh, actually is your input's uh, input impedance. So input impedance is low. All right, it can reject common mode input signal if resistor pairs are perfectly matched. Ideally, common mode rejection ratio approach infinite. That, that is assumption is uh, here, if uh, resistors perfect perfectly match. But in actual case, yeah, you may use a 1% accuracy resistor or 0.1, even 0.1% uh, accuracy resistor. In that case, you wouldn't achieve very high common mode rejection ratio. Point four, it is uh, difficult to adjust the gain of the circuits. Uh, if you look at this uh, circuit again, we assume this R1, R1, R2, R2. We know the gain of this circuit is R2 over R1. Now, if you need to change gain, either you change both those two resistors or you change both those two resistors. If you try to change both resistor, uh, you wouldn't be able to keep uh, match. Uh, that is a big uh, advantage. You can't easily change again. To overcome advantages, I put uh, this is an advantage. This is a low input impedance. Uh, difficult to, to change again, another advantage. To overcome advantage of differential amplifier, now we uh, introduce instrumentation amplifier. Instrumentation amplifier has uh, four basic requirements. One, accept differential input. That is the same as uh, differential amplifier. High input impedance and low output impedance. Uh, low output impedance. Uh, high input impedance and low output impedance. That is an improvement. High common mode rejection ratio. Uh, uh, that, that is uh, same as differential amplifier if uh, resistor pairs can be perfectly matched. Number four is easy to change again. Easy to change again. That is a big difference from, uh, from a differential amplifier. <laughs> there are several different designs of uh, instrumentation amplifier. Here I just show you a typical one. A typical one is based on three OPAM. It consists of two input amplifiers uh, and a differential amplifier. If you look at this uh, diagram, if I cover here, it look like inverting amplifier, look like inverting amplifier. Now, because here is a V plus, that, that is a plus, that is a plus. So you have a high input impedance. Now, uh, if I cover this side, you just look at this side, this is exactly the same as what we discussed, differential amplifier, right? Because the two input amplifiers have voltage control voltage source with a zero output uh, impedance. Uh, it's here, we talk about it here, with zero output impedance. There. there is no loading effect between two input amplifier 
and uh, differential amplifier. I think because here it is a very, very low output impedance, okay? that potential, that potential is only determined by that input, that input, you wouldn't, uh, here, if you draw current to this way, you wouldn't affect VO zero. <coughs> Again, because the output impedance, output impedance is uh, zero. And hence, we can consider two parts separately. Uh, if I draw, uh, draw a line here, if I draw a line, we can consider this part and then consider that part. The reason we can do this is there is a no loading effect. Oh, if we consider relationship between I, current I and two uh, voltage inputs V1 and V2, what I talk about is here. If we consider this I, we consider here is V1. If here is V1, here is also V1. Because uh, here is negative feedback, this potential, this potential must be same. Uh, same thing, if um, here is a V2, that must be V2. So now we can easily work out the current I equals V1 minus V2 divided by RT. So that is the uh, first equation here. Right? We just consider this input and here input, consider this uh, resistor. We know this uh, relationship. Now let's, uh, let's consider the relationship between current I and uh, op-amp output VO1, VO2. Okay. Here we have a VO1, that is the first uh, op-amp output. VO2 is second op-amp output. Uh, those two, because the output impedance is very low, that is a fix, that is a fix. Now, if we consider this is uh, consider this path, if I consider from here to there, to there, to here. If I consider this path, uh, because here is a VO1, uh, that is a VO1, and here is a VO2, I consider the current, the difference across those uh, three resistors, that is, uh, VO1 minus VO2 uh, cross those are three resistors. If I divide those are three resistors is R3 plus RG plus R3. So that is uh, a current I, that equals I. It's the same current as we, uh, we got, just consider V1 and V2. Uh, you may uh, wonder why this uh, current just go this way, because uh, here we discuss uh, ideal uh, op-amp, the current here is uh, zero, no current. Um, equally here, no current. That's why the current just go this way, those uh, three. Now we have a second equation that is I equals VO1 minus VO2 divided by two R3, 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 I have a two R3 plus RG. Now we can link those uh, two parts uh, together uh, because both equal I, uh, I have uh, that equation, that is uh, this equation. Now we can link those two parts uh, together. Now if you go back to this uh, di diagram, this is, uh, Let's consider a second part. Now, that is uh, differential amplifier. Actually, we already discussed. Uh, also, we know the results. That is a VO equals R2 divided by R1 times the VO2 minus VO1. That is a differential amplifier. VO2 first, because here is a plus. A VO one second because that is a minus. So that is uh, this equation, VO1 equals this. 
So now, if we merge those two equations together, and then we can get rid of VO1, VO2. Yes, yeah, so we don't really need the middle parameter VO1, VO2. By merging those uh, two equations together, that's uh, quite, uh, actually, this is quite, a, quite easy. Uh, if I write this is a VO1 minus VO2 equals, I move this uh, to this side, this uh, 2 R3 plus Rg divided by Rg, that is a V1 minus V2. Right. Um, okay. Um, because here is um, is uh, V O two minus V O one. We just uh, change uh, change a sign. This V O two minus V O one equals minus. If we have a minus, we change position of those two. That is a two R uh, R three plus R G divided by R G. That is V two minus V one. Right. Uh, we can replace. We use uh, this part, replace that. Right. Uh, this is Rg, that is Rg. This is 1 plus 2R3 divided by Rg times this. We remain here R2 over R1 times V2 minus V1. Now we got uh, the results for this, uh, uh, this uh, amplifier. It's uh, VO, this output is proportional to the difference V2 minus V1. Now in front, you have uh, this. Uh, once those uh, resistors um, fixed, this uh, big block, and this is a constant. Now from this uh, equation, uh, you can see uh, you have uh, Rg, back to this uh, original circuit for R1, you have R1, R1, R2, R2, R3, R3. So once you ask uh, to pair those uh, resistors, it is not easy to change. But with this one, there is only one resistor, Rg. So you can easily change this uh, resistor. I can easily change this uh, resistor Rg so that I can change this block. I can change uh, this uh, coefficient. That is uh, a way uh, to uh, to make uh, this uh, circuit easy to change uh, change again, and also it is a uh, a way to maintain good uh, common mode rejection ratio because all those I don't need uh, to make a change. So the performance of this uh, circuit now uh, we can summarize as follows: it accepts uh, differential input. Is the input impedance is high because of a non-inverting input terminal of uh, amplifiers, and its output impedance is low because of uh, voltage control voltage source inside of the third operational amplifier. If R1, R2, R3 exactly match, the common mode rejection ratio is very high. Also, it is uh, very easy to change again. Yes, we just need uh, to change uh, Rg. Note that to change Rg, the relationship between Rg and gain is not linear. If you look at this, uh, this is a gain. If we use a K to stand for, K is not proportional, not proportional to Rg. It's not a proportional because Rg is here. If uh, Rg somewhere here, uh, that is a proportional. The next is an uh, example. We leave an uh, example to synchronize the session. Uh, can we finish this video?